And I would like to thank my first mate supporters, Andre Cruz. This is Don the Diecast Pirate, and today I have for you, look what I bought. It's a mini table saw. And I was like, you know what? I saw this at Harbor Freight today, and I decided to go ahead and buy it. And because I noticed it come with a diamond blade. And this might work really good for, you know, cutting things in, uh, for customizing and things like that axle too without having to pull the Dremel out get the attachment on it you know and get it cut and everything um, okay so I got it out of the box it doesn't look like it's going to be too overly complicated to assemble um, without even looking at the directions I can tell that this goes here Looking at the picture on the box, this is going to go on there. And then we'll have the slide push, and it looks like we can arrange this in different directions to uh, yeah, so that would that would be you know something we could push the material through with. Um, And it looks like we have the screw that holds that on. We have two wing nuts, two screws, and four washers. And, okay. So this is going to go through the center of this. Right now it's set up with this blade for cutting like wood and that might be a uh, blade that we could use for cutting wood stuff in the future but I don't think I want to get into all that. So, being careful not to touch the blade when I'm looking at. So I just noticed on the back nut, there's a set screw. And the front nut does not have one. So, I need to get actual tools to change this blade and switch it over to the diamond blade. So let me go get those and I'll be back. All right, so I went ahead and got it all set up and everything. And since I don't want to cut a random piece of tubing that I may use in restoring a car, I have these things that I bought. They're like toothpicks or something. And I thought they would use the, I didn't realize that these were hard bristles on there. And uh, I thought I might use these for like doing detail work on cars. And I might still, who knows, um, maybe that end. But I figure maybe we'll just put one of these through here. Um, so there's no way to change the angle on this because it's just a small motor that goes straight through. Um, but you can loosen this knob on the side. And adjust this table to where you need it. Now, most of the stuff that I'll use this to cut won't be that thick. So probably right about there is good enough. Um, and then 
when you do, when you're gonna cut straight, you want to make sure that this is on a 90 exactly. Um, but like I said, I think you know for cutting axle tubes and different things, it's gonna work really well. This is gonna get noisy. Now, the only thing is, like, it tore that plastic instead of cutting it. So I don't know that this would work on styrene. In all, all honesty, styrene, you just use your exacto blade on a straight edge and, and cut along it anyway. But this is mostly for axle tubes and things like that where... Uh, like I said, trying to hold the tube in my hand while I'm cutting it with the Dremel and everything, it's, it's, it can be done, but when I can just grab this thing, bring it over, mark, have the tube marked where I need it to be, and just zip it through here real quick, it is going to be so much faster. And who knows, it may be the only thing I use it for. In all honesty, I mean, I could cut a diecast car in half on this thing if I wanted to. You might see that someday. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, as always, uh, thank you for uh, leaving your likes and your comments and uh, ringing the bell for notifications. As always, this is Don the Diecast Pirate, and I'll see you next time.